Lesson 20 is another mini project or assessment. Uh, they give you the framework to do a mini or a slide side scroller game where the background actually moves and the character itself doesn't uh, move from left to right as we can see. Some things that we're going to learn how to program in this one are our score, our health, we're dealing with some collisions again. Uh, and the goal ultimately on this one is to avoid the mushroom and gather the flies. I'm going to walk through this in a series of videos working through a large majority of the bubbles to help you. But again, you're going to need to design a game on your own. I'm going to do it rather simplified. So in bubble three, they're asking you to basically set your background on this. So if we scroll down in the coding here, you can see draw the, gr the ground and other background that you're going to be using for this game. Now, you could get creative and import it and do all that. I'm just going to do something really simple here. And I'm going to go to my background. Uh, I'm going to recreate that one we kind of did before in the earlier programs of this course. I'm going to do a sky blue background. Um, we could do grass and we could do like a fill. And we'll do green for our grass and maybe we'll do that as a rectangle and we'll do that same 0 300 uh, width and height and then we'll do 400 100 and so now what we oh, so we could do something extremely simple as like that. Uh, again, you could be more complex, more decorative, put some clouds, whatever your game is calling for, if it's a space scene or whatever it is. So in this bubble three, we're asked to create that background. In uh, bubble four, we're asked to set up three sprites. Uh, we're gonna wanna set up a frog, a fly, and a mushroom. Now, that's if you're going to recreate the exact game that they already have. Uh, again, if you're changing the theme of that, you can set that up differently. So I can come to my animation, and you can see I have my frog, mushroom, and my fly here. Coming back to my coding. Now, the way I'm going to use those default variables, I'm going to come up here, and you can see they tell you to create your sprites and all of this. It's also detailed up there. So I'm just going to set up my first variable, mushroom, and my mushroom is going to be that create sprite that we want. And that create sprite I've chosen on my XY uh, coordinates is... And I had a little bit of a glitch, so I can never set that mushroom variable uh, equals. I'm going to grab that create sprite, and I'm going to set it up on uh, 450 and 325 on my XY. Now I need to set that variable animation, so I'm going to type in that mushroom, and then I can go set animation, and that file is called mushroom. Now, they also ask me to set the velocity of the movement of this. So I'm just going to say my mushroom is starting on that right side. And we're going to move that mushroom's velocity on the x-axis. Uh, and we'll start off with something uh, slow, like a negative 5. And then I can end that line. Now, I'm going to set up my three other variables the same. I'll do it off camera and then talk about that. Now you can see I set up my variable for my frog. I created my sprite. I put it at 175, 325 uh, on there. So we can see that there. We can also see that I set it to frog, but I did not set a velocity because the frog is what I'm going to be controlling with user input. I have my fly that I set up. Again, I'm putting it in a random location for a little bit of a gameplay. So it changes on the axis there. I've set the fly and I set it to a speed of a negative seven. So again, to get it a little bit uh, more difficult, I can you can see I chose that random number so the fly doesn't always follow that same uh, 